are they going to improve their ability, their time in a 5K by doing that training? I don't think so. But if, so, the, if the metric is health, do we need to improve a 5K time? I think uh, if we're looking at... I think the ability goal, is more important. Our goal over time with exercise, with exercise, and this is from across the same place pushing out, is improving our health markers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think that that's a single point. I think it's a moving target of where we're going over time. Yeah. So I think... But so is the fitness question, the implication for that, or is it like actual health markers? I, if, using fitness as a health marker. Okay. Right? Yeah. Do you think that from bodybuilding alone... We can say that nutrition is taken care of, that we are improving on all of our health markers over time. So only the, addressing some of them. Yeah. So I, I, I understand where you're going with this. I think this is where I think the waters get muddy. Yeah. It's what is the health marker? Because fitness isn't necessarily the implication of health, right? Like it's a good, it's a good, if you're fit, you can probably make the assertion that somebody is healthy. Sure. <clears throat> but on the other token, there's a lot of people who are fit that are not healthy. Right. Sure. Like you see those people who have type two diabetes after they've been a triathlete, you know, like they, they go their whole career and then they get diagnosed with type two diabetes. And that has to do with because nutrition. They're not approaching health. They're approaching peak performance. performance most likely. For sure. Absolutely. And there are things that go out the window when you do that. A hundred percent. I agree with you. So I think that, but I don't think that fitness, I think here's the thing. I don't know how you get better at fitness. Yeah. Right. Fitness is just fitness to me. Like there's like, nobody has come out and said like, and I know that CrossFit has tried to do this, but nobody has come out and said, okay. The markers for fitness are 15 pull-ups, 25. Like, there's no certain, there's no like specific benchmarks for fitness, right? But there, are, but there are benchmark workouts in CrossFit. Uh, yeah, I get that. And if you were to do them again mm -hmm. and you improve on your times, are you not showing improvements in fitness? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Fitness, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Health. Blood you get work. what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, agreed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, agreed. That's where I think that health stands. So I don't think though that that necessarily like to, let's say. I don't think necessarily that it means, I don't think it's necessarily that your Fran time as your average CrossFit goer getting better means that your LDL or HDL cholesterol gets lower as well. I don't think that they're sure. hand in hand. Sure. They could be uh, correlative, but not causative. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. So, but I think the same thing for any, any type of exercise, like your regular F45 or your bodybuilder or whatever. I don't know that. That's that's my issue. Is yeah. What is that? It's, what's the marker? I personally like. I'm fine with people choosing whatever type of exercise they want to do. As my mom likes to run. My little brother likes to bodybuild. Yeah. I don't have arguments with them at all about whether or not they should be doing CrossFit or not because I think, to our point earlier, is like a barrier to entry and the ability to generally get better across the board. Like I would rather see them do something that they love. Yeah. Than try to force them to do something else that maybe I love, but they don't totally buy into yet. Right. That's a big so portion think, of the puzzle. Yeah. I think like all of the arguments in general sort of frustrate me because I'm like, I don't like, we don't have to argue over which is best. Like if yeah. yours is best for you because you can show up and do it every day. And my version is best for me because it's what I like to show up and do every day. Then we're both probably in a better spot than we would be if we were unhappy. Absolutely. And we go back to like community, why you show up, do these things. Like you're yeah. always going to be more consistent at the stuff that you enjoy doing yeah, and that you're motivated by. Mm -hmm. And I think that people who do CrossFit love CrossFit so much yes. that they're willing to die <laughs> like yeah, die on the yeah. field saying like this is the best way to do it because yeah. it's the thing that works best for them yeah and i do believe that it's one of the best ways to improve from a well-rounded sense and to touch on all of this stuff but if somebody is like 